Could you start examining Janet? I'm on it. Mind explaining what exactly happened out there? We found Janet tied up in the lighthouse. Someone attacked her. <gasps> Mon Dieu! Oh my! No need to worry. Janet's gonna be fine after a good night's rest. Thank you. Janet's attacker is probably the same person who stole all the files on Project Genetica. The one who murdered Freddy and Portia, whoever it is, they're still here among us. We gathered all of you here to get to the bottom of this once and for all. No one will leave this place until the culprit is identified. Damn straight. Now why don't we get started? Right. As you all know, I've been looking into all the incidents and murders that took place during our stay here. From the clues I've gathered, I believe I'm very close to uncovering the culprit's identity. I'm certain that once I've gone through all the evidence one more time, we'll be able to determine the culprit. Let's begin with Lucas's death then. Sure. At first, we thought Lucas slipped and fell by accident. But that wasn't the case. From the state of his body, it seemed that he had been in a fight before he died. If I remember correctly, we found out his knuckles were freshly bruised. That's right. We also noticed Lucas's suit was ripped. By that point, I was already suspecting Freddy was involved somehow. I found one of Freddy's pins by the pool. Besides, he had a bad limp around that time too. But there was no real proof since the pool patio security footage of the incident was missing. Except that in one of the remaining frames, I noticed Lucas was talking to someone. So I questioned Mrs. Bird about it afterward. She was the first to find the body after all. Could you tell everyone what you talked about? Mrs. Bird told me she escorted Freddy to his room. Yes. And then I went to finish tidying the Starship suite. Thanks to the Admiral's chat with Mrs. B, I ended up questioning Freddy later. Freddy claimed he saw Q fighting with Lucas by the pool. So, we checked the greenhouse security footage during the time of the incident. Q was there. He couldn't have done it. That's the moment we realized Freddy was lying through his teeth. We went to confront Freddy in his room. But he was gone. Instead, we found his notebook, which confirmed our suspicions. Freddy had murdered Lucas. That's when we all split up into teams and went to search for Freddy. We found him, lying dead at the bottom of the well in the abandoned house. But his death was no accident. Dear, how can you be certain it wasn't an accident? The well's lid was barred by a steel pipe. Someone wanted to make sure Freddy couldn't get out in case he survived the fall. There's also another very important piece of the puzzle. I believe Freddy was being blackmailed and manipulated by someone in this room. And what did they use to blackmail Freddy with? The camera footage of Lucas's death, which we thought had been deleted. In the heat of the fight, Freddy accidentally pushed Lucas. Lucas tripped and fell backward, hitting his head on the corner of the pool. And you know the rest. I believe the culprit used this footage to their advantage by transferring it onto a USB key before they deleted it from the system. They probably approached Freddy after that. I think... They blackmailed Freddy using the footage, making him their puppet. It's an interesting theory, Ms. Page. But where's the proof? Where's the USB key? Carla gave it to me before. I can confirm the USB key is real. Fine, but the USB key with the security footage didn't appear out of thin air. Where did you find it? In Jax's suite. I know that doesn't look good for Jax, but I think it was planted there. On what basis? The USB key was lying on the floor, partially hidden, as if it was lost. But I don't believe the culprit would be careless enough 
to lose something so important. It does sound suspicious, I'll give you that. All right, so if Freddy was being manipulated, what exactly did he have to do for the culprit? I'm sure that Freddy was made to scout out the lighthouse to find the best vantage point. I found a torn map showing the way to the lighthouse in his room. He tried to get rid of the map? He ripped it up and tried to burn it. Thankfully, he didn't do a good job. In any case, when I found the map, I decided to investigate the lighthouse myself. That's where I found the military-grade binoculars. And you're sure Freddy was in the lighthouse because? By the binoculars, there was also an empty bottle of Freddy's favorite wine. I'm sure he spent the night there. Most likely, he was involved in some of the other incidents as well. One thing still not clear to me. If Freddy was being manipulated by the culprit, why was he murdered? I believe Freddy found leverage against his blackmailer. And I think that ties directly in with your poisoning, Reuben. Miss Page, why don't you explain how you reached this conclusion from the beginning? Of course. After Reuben collapsed during our first dinner together, we started investigating what happened. Dr. Cat ran tests on Reuben that revealed a poison or venom of some kind in his system. At the time, we thought he'd been poisoned by the food or wine. But we ran further tests with Dr. Cat and found no traces of poison in them. We hit a wall back then without any further leads to investigate. Until. Until I had a delayed allergic reaction on my hand. Which, after analysis, led us to the conclusion that the poison got into your system through your skin. And how does this relate to Freddy's murder? It's part of this ring I found on Freddy that makes me suspicious. The same ring that was used to poison you. A poison ring? Seems like something straight out of my books. No fiction here. Just facts. We found out about the ring thanks to another USB key the culprit left behind in Porsche's laptop. It just looks like an ordinary ring to me. This button here opens the compartment where the poison was stored. Can I have a look at it? Of course. I believe Freddy got his hands on part of the ring and used it as leverage against our culprit, which, in the end, cost Freddy his life. You said Freddy had a part of it, but what you showed us was a full ring, was it not? The other part... The sapphire? I found mixed in with a tablecloth in the dryer. I believe the murderer lost the sapphire while poisoning Reuben, and it went through the washing machine with the tablecloth. This led me to believe Reuben was poisoned during dinner. Isn't it possible Reuben was poisoned earlier? Unlikely. Some of the poison compounds we identified are very quick to take effect. I had contact with everyone in the room during the dinner. Anyone could have sprayed it on me. Doesn't that leave the possibility that Freddy could have plotted to poison Reuben and done the deed himself? First of all, Freddy's dead. Even if he did do it, too many things don't add up. The security footage kept on the USB key, him carrying a part of the ring in his pocket. And I'm sure someone would have noticed Freddy wearing such a flashy ring during dinner. So your conclusion is that Freddy couldn't have poisoned Reuben? That's right. All of the heinous acts from that point on were carried out by the person who killed Freddy. Their main objective from the start was to get information on Project Genetica. That's probably why the poison Reuben was sprayed with wasn't lethal. He was kept alive in case the culprit couldn't find any information on the project. Yet Portia was the one who ended up paying the ultimate price. Portia's death was a consequence of the culprit trying to get their hands on Genetica. I believe Portia caught the culprit off guard while they were hacking into her laptop. From the evidence I found, I believe it happened something like this. What are you doing here? 
Yo! I believe that after shooting Portia, the culprit ran away, worried that someone had heard the shots. While investigating the crime scene, I also found a cartridge that seemed to be from a handgun. That's when I decided to check Lucas's gun, which the Admiral was keeping hidden at the time. The number of bullets missing from it was the same number Portia was shot with. It was the murder weapon. Does that mean the Admiral is the murderer? Calm down. I didn't kill anyone. Someone stole it from my room, and after committing the crime, put it back in there to frame me. He couldn't have done it. The Admiral and Q were in the backyard around the time Portia was murdered. See, the Admiral was with me. What about Janet? She was in the room with Portia's body when Reuben found them. Janet does have a motive. She was being blackmailed by Portia to stay away from Reuben. Oh my god. I'd never kill her. What's wrong with you? Carla, it doesn't add up. Janet would have had to put the gun back in the Admiral's suite before coming back into the room. Why would she do that? You might be right. But there's also the culprit's black trench coat which I found in Janet's suite. The coat's fabric matched the torn piece I found after the Admiral was attacked. Are you saying it's Janet's? It didn't fit her, but I'm sure it was planted there to try and throw me off the trail. Either way, before making any further assumptions, there's something else I need to let all of you know. We discovered that the culprit is part of a secretive very powerful group of people called the Overseers. Never heard of them. Consider yourself lucky. Some of the stories I've heard still send shivers down my spine. I believe most of the stories about the Overseers have a kernel of truth to them. From the information I gathered about them, their roots go back to the 16th century. Their long history is full of instances where they abuse their power from the shadows to influence governments, even kings. Sounds a bit far-fetched. You really want us to believe this group still exists and remains active to this day? I encountered them in my younger days. I saw firsthand what they are capable of. Make no mistake, one of them is in this room. Oh my! How do you even know the culprit is one of these so-called overseers? While investigating the trail left by the culprit, we found an emblem with an eye symbol on it. This emblem is heavily associated with the group. I believe their ultimate goal is to steal the formula for the Genetica serum and exploit it for personal gain and power. Carla, even if all this is true, it doesn't tell us who the culprit is. Which is why, before I start pointing fingers, there are some other facts I should mention. The culprit was able to sneak a sniper rifle onto the island. They actually tried to do me in, but luckily missed their shot. I'm glad you're okay, dear. Oh, chérie. You should have told me sooner. I can't imagine how traumatic the experience must have been. I'm just glad to be alive. The takeaway is that the culprit must have had some serious training to try for such a long shot during a storm. Carla, now all our cards are on the table. Do you know who the culprit is? I think I can narrow down the list of suspects to two people. 
Go on, then. First of all, it couldn't be Reuben. There's just no motive for him to do any of this. We can cross Q off, too. As he couldn't have poisoned Reuben during the dinner, he wasn't there. Also, Q and the Admiral were together when Portia was killed. Neither of them could have murdered her. Dr. Cat can be taken off the list, too, even if her motives for taking the data on Jeannie are questionable. Poisoning Reuben would have been a waste of her time, as she had to do the most looking after him. Leaving little time to search the mansion for any information on the project. Janet did have a motive to kill Portia, and we did find her at the murder scene. But there's no way she could have tied herself up in the lighthouse. I don't consider her a suspect, and Jax is not exactly in a state to be able to pull off any heists either. All this leaves only two people who could possibly be the culprit. It's Margot or Mrs. Bird. Excuse me? It's obviously the cleaning lady, Chérie. I'm innocent. I could never hurt Reuben. Enough. Miss Page, get to the point. Who is the culprit? I have no doubt it's Margot. Chérie, don't make yourself look bad. It's not me. Let me go over the facts and everyone else can be the judge of that. Margot, you're linked to Freddy's murder. I found your lighter on his body. The last time I checked, it wasn't illegal to lend someone a lighter. Did you give him the lighter to burn the map that led him to the lighthouse? How should I know? I didn't bother asking what he wanted to do with it. You also had the opportunity to kill Portia. I saw you on the cameras walking onto the pool patio around the time Portia died. Because I spilled wine on my shirt and went to change. You confirmed it yourself. Yeah, and that was the perfect excuse to sneak into the Admiral's suite and grab Lucas's handgun. You also didn't hear any shots, despite being close to the murder scene. Nothing you're saying proves that I'm the one behind all this. You're just wasting your breath. I'm not finished yet. You sat next to Reuben during the dinner. You had the perfect chance to spray poison on him. I'm certain the ring fits your finger perfectly too. Even if the ring fits me, there's no proof it's mine. Anyone could have used it. But the same night Reuben was poisoned, you were looking for something in the dining hall. I bet it was the sapphire from the ring. I was looking for my earring. Right. What about today, then? What were you doing in the afternoon? I was in my room most of the time. I barely left it. So you haven't been in the security room? No. Why would I go there to begin with? Uh, hang on a sec. I might not fully understand what's going on, but I'm certain what Margot just said ain't true. Mind elaborating, Jax? This afternoon, I saw Margot leaving the security office. Care to explain yourself? Please, chérie. You must have drank too much and dreamt it up. Margot, when I spoke with you today, you were coming up from the basement hall. So what? That doesn't mean I was in the security office. Well, if I were in the culprit's shoes and suspected someone had seen me with a stolen file, I'd probably assault them and tie them up too. Are you insane? How did you jump to that conclusion from me just talking to her? You're obviously hiding something. Oh, chérie, I believe you're better at keeping secrets than I am. Why hide the fact that Ruben's your father? <gasps> 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 
Carla is Ruben's daughter. I can't say I'm not surprised. But Margot, how do you know this? I run a media empire, Sam. It's my job to know. Is Carla really your daughter, Ruben? It's true. She is. It's a long story, but it doesn't matter right now. I strongly disagree. If you've been hiding something as important as this, what else are you not telling us? Maybe you and your little daughter are the true culprits, scheming behind everyone's backs. The only one scheming right now is you. Your word means as much as mine. You're right. But I have something you don't. Evidence. During my first few days here, when Mrs. B started helping me, she received a handwritten threat. That was the culprit's biggest mistake. If I compare the handwriting on it with yours, we'll know who's lying. Sure. Give me a piece of paper and a pen. I'll prove it's not mine. No need. I actually already have a handwritten note from your notebook. Is stealing another skill of yours? If it helps the investigation. Carla, why don't you use the table to compare notes so everyone can see? Works for me. Are you people going to take her at her word? She's not an expert. How can she tell? If you're not the culprit, then there's nothing to worry about. No one likes a hero, Sam. No. Samuel! Uh-uh, Ruben. Take another step, and you're dead. Marco! Oh, how could you? Where did you get this gun from? Ruben, you should really learn how to hide things better. I found your files, after all. Did you really think I wouldn't be able to find the handgun? You should give me more credit. Margo, you'll pay for this. Keep it down, Sam. It's not good for your health to get so worked up. Don't try anything stupid. But, kudos to you, Carla. I thought I'd get away scot-free. Not that it matters much. The only thing you've accomplished, really, is spelling out your own demise. All of you, get inside the elevator. Well... This was a lovely getaway, Ruben. We should do this more often. Let's see how long you'll be able to survive down there. Farewell. Margot, all along. She's a witch. And a goddamn psychopath. I... I can't believe it. What on earth just happened? Oh, God. And Sam. I think I'm going to faint. Everyone, I know it's a lot to take in. But please try to remain calm. Catherine, what's Sam's condition? I'll be fine. It's not the first time I've been shot in the line of duty. Sam? It's not up to you to decide if you're fine. Your wound is no joke. 
Just be thankful the bullet hit your shoulder and missed any vital areas. As long as I stop the bleeding, yes. I'm just glad I was able to grab the first aid kit. I have nearly all the necessary equipment to deal with the situation. But I won't have enough bandages to cover the wound once the bleeding stops. There might be a bandage back in the laboratory. I can go grab it. I'll come with you. I need to check Haven's systems in the control room. I doubt Margot would simply leave us down here. Everyone else, please stay here and provide any support Catherine might need. 